Well, one of the nice parts about waiting for the wind is that right now it's coming out of the north. And usually, when it comes out of the north around here, it brings with the sunshine. <laughs> so, today, we're taking advantage of that sunshine. We're hiking across this little island. that it rained all week it's like the whole trail just becomes marshy okay just like if i don't put all my weight in there let's find some rocks <laughs> nice. Ooh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> above our sailboat, so a little over a thousand feet. And uh, yeah, we're in the wind now because we're not protected by the island anymore. Anyway. Not that you can hear any of this because I'm with the phone right now and the phone audio is total shit. <laughs> right it's gonna be a beautiful spot to watch the sunset yeah so uh the owner of the restaurant next to the harbor where our boat is built this cabin a few years ago and it's on the furthest westest side of the island and uh yeah so we figured it would be a really cool place to come and watch the sunset yeah and it's pretty Right off the cliff. Side of the cliff man. <laughs> it's like perched out over the side of the cliff. It's really cool. Yeah. No, it's really pretty. It's gonna be a perfect spot for the sunset. It's such a sketchy cabin though. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's strapped like it's literally sitting on a pile of rocks and it's strapped down by cables. Yeah. Wow. That's the ocean down there. And the cliffs. Damn. Let's not uh, put all the weight on one corner of the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, this was definitely worth a hike. This is a magnificent sunset. I know we say that a lot because a lot of sunsets are beautiful, but I think something about being this high up on the side of a cliff in this beautiful cabin with panoramic views of the sunset and the ocean, I mean, it's definitely worth a hike up. But the wind's still blowing out of the north, so we were able to enjoy some sunny weather and hike up here and watch the sunset but uh, I think tomorrow or maybe the day after the wind's going to shift so we can sail out of this cut and out into the open ocean and around stop 
Um, it's one of the only times that we need to go into open ocean, sailing along the coast of Norway. Most of it's in protected water, so uh, we definitely want to make sure we time the weather just right. But it's neat to be up this high and kind of get a sneak peek of the, uh, the pass that we're going to sail through in the next couple of days. Well, we just left this morning. We had to motor the first two miles or so because it was through like some really narrow sort of cuts and scaries and underneath the bridge and everything like that. And there wasn't really enough wind to have the sails up anyway. Um, but now that we've sort of cleared our way out from behind those islands, we have six to seven knots downwind. So spinnaker's out and we're on our way. Um, we're expecting it to be a, a pretty much a spinnaker sail all the way there, we're hoping. Uh, the wind's supposed to be pretty light, so it should be a nice, uh, it should be a nice sail. We spent about a week here waiting for the, a good weather window to go around Stott, and today is going to be a perfect slow <laughs> sail. Uh, it's 70 miles away, and well, at this rate, we'll get there tomorrow. So, we are currently sailing at one and a half knots in one and a half knots of wind.
Oh, can you imagine? This is the this is the first time that we're offshore since we got to Norway. Like what, three months ago? <laughs> oh. Open ocean, baby. Open ocean. I almost missed it. You know the the big swells. It's nice. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous seal right now. The wind picked up, <laughs> like we said it would. It's blowing. Uh, it's blowing about ten knots right now, and we're cruising at four knots. So slow and steady, but a little bit faster than one knot. So that's good. <laughs> It is uh, a little bit past midnight now and we just made our turn away from the ocean and pointing our bow in towards Olesund. It looks like we're going to be passing Olesund in the middle of the night, but the wind's filled in a little bit so we're sailing along quite well now. It's, uh, it's pretty dark tonight. It's theoretically a moon, but it's pretty cloudy as well. Not too bad though, got radar, got AIS. You can hear breaking waves off in the distance, which is always a little bit concerning, but it looks like we're gonna be passing Olison in the middle of the night. And uh, a little bit further, one of our patrons actually has a cabin with a dock about 10 miles east of Olison. So we're gonna keep sailing through the night and probably get there at first light in the morning. And uh, We'll be spending a week or two there because we have a couple of boat projects lined up that we need to get done before the winter gets here. So it'll be interesting to pass a city at night and you know see it with all the lights on and then go back and <laughs> explore it later. <laughs> the wind is funneling in through the mountains and through the islands right now um, which means it's coming dead into our nose if this was during the day we would be tacking into it but we don't really feel like tacking in the middle of the night uh, so we are motoring into 10 knots of wind but just around this one corner and hopefully by the time we turn and pass Olesund, the wind should be coming from behind us and hopefully it should be pushing us all the way in. But for now we're motoring, probably for another 30 minutes to an hour. And then, yeah, we still have lots of batteries left though, so should be good. The sun has finally come up uh, somewhere. Well, you can't really see it because it's kind of gray, rainy morning, but we're only about half a mile away from the dock and there's a little bit of breeze behind us. So we are finishing our sail in. Um, pretty excited to have to a dock and get some sleep. It's been a long night.
It's super clear here. I love it. What? Go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when it's really sunny and really warm. <laughs> That's it's nice. supposed to be nice the rest of the week. Yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see where we are. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> so Fred's cabin is a cabin that actually is an Airbnb and he invited us to uh, spend a few days to just relax. So we're going to use these days to do a lot of um, online work <laughs> and also to catch up on some shower time and some good old-fashioned sleep and it's cool that Uma is literally right in front of the cabin so I'm really excited for a few days of doing absolutely nothing 